Hmm. Hi, this is Mojo, and I'm going to show you how to join a, um, a bridge class from a Mac OS using Zoom and SharkBridge. And for each of my classes especially, you'll get an email beforehand that will have a Zoom invitation and a uh, bridge table invitation. Those, these are both links that will open in a browser. For Zoom in particular, you can either use Zoom in the browser or run the Zoom client. I actually recommend using the Zoom client. So if it gives you the option to download the Zoom client, then I recommend taking that one. Uh, if, if you have it installed, it's going to bring up a video preview. Hi. And we're going to join uh, with video. Uh, for this meeting, and so now there are two views of me because I have uh, you know two another computer that's running the Zoom, and here I am right there. So let's uh, this starts the Zoom meeting, and that's a great start. Uh, meanwhile, these other things behind we can close those because we don't need those anymore. And if you notice, I just clicked on the on the background windows. The Zoom meeting now it's uh, in. Um, it's in a window which I can move around by dragging the uh, title bar. Over here are my controls for the window. And one of the things I can do is minimize the window. So now it's just a small, uh, a small window, uh, a small screen here. But I can always bring it back by uh, clicking that little, that little icon. Let me show you that again. You see if I move my mouse over, over my face, I've got a little icon to bring it back. And also I can move this video around so it uh, doesn't cover up anything important. I'm going to leave this minimized for now and I'm going to go back to the email and I'm going to show how we can open the bridge table just like this. And we can click on the link and it will again open a browser. Now I use Firefox, but if you use Safari or Chrome, either of those is fine. I'll put in uh, my nickname Mojo and I'm going to leave the partner's nickname blank. And it'll bring me up to a table waiting to be seated I will, uh, let's see, let me add a table just so I get a table and seat myself at a table. And there we go, we've got some cards and I can show all the cards. You see, it's just a, a deck of cards that way. Um, so now uh, the I can switch around between the various apps, of course, by clicking on the windows that are open. And I'm going to um, minimize my email right now because I don't need that anymore. Now, if you're, these controls are important. If you use the green button, it means enter full screen, and you can see that you have options for that. You can go to, if you go to full screen, even then, the zoom uh, the zoom window stays right here. Uh, and if you don't go to full screen, if I use the escape key, I press escape. Let's see, or I move my mouse up to the top of the window, then I can exit full screen mode, just like that. If I am in full screen for my bridge table, I can also go down to the taskbar, which is down here, and I can switch to my Zoom meeting, which is running right here. And now I have Zoom going on right there. And meanwhile, I'm getting email notifications. That's normal. Um, but all of my running apps are still right here. For instance, uh, let's see, the bridge table is Firefox. And there it is right there. So I can switch between the two. The main thing is to that you may you may not want to do is use full screen for the bridge table. Here's another option. I can um, I can tile zoom to the left of the screen like this. I can well it didn't tile and I can tile um, shark to the right of the screen. Let's see if that works. Tile to the right of the screen. Well, I didn't do anything, but I can just move the windows around by clicking and dragging on them. And you may find that you want to do zoom like this, where you have, and okay, that's as, that's as small as it will go, but I can also make my bridge table smaller and it will resize itself, but that's, that's probably not the way to go. I'm going to minimize zoom and I'm going to bring my uh, my bridge table back to more or less full size. So we've got the minimum uh, video window there. And then often what happens during a bridge class is that I will send players to breakout rooms. I'm going to see if I can do that now. I'm going to create two breakout rooms and assign manually. I'm going to assign um, 
this uh, this room to uh, room one, and this is what happens when I assign you to a breakout room. So notice you get the the uh, pop up window here, and it says to join the breakout room. Okay, now I'm in the breakout room. I'm the only one here, of course, but again, I need to minimize zoom, so. It's just seeing me and my bridge table, but my, my table mates will be here and I can chat with them. And in a minute, all of the rooms will close. I, I get this notification and it does kind of, it's sort of invasive if you're in the middle of playing a hand. I apologize for that. It's the best we can do. If you don't want to leave the breakout room, you can just close that, that little dialog box with the red button. And you can always leave the breakout room at any time by restoring... Um, in, I see I've got zoom minimized here and if I restore it back to a regular window I can leave the room this way and leave the breakout room. Now it's returning to the main session and I'm back in the main session and once again I need to minimize minimize the zoom so I have my table and all of that. I'm, while I'm here I'm going to show you some interesting things. I'm going to move my video out of the way because all of the bridge tables have their own options. These are personal to you. If you click on this gear icon in the upper left, you'll see that you have some options to change in your, uh, in your bridge table. The ones that I like are the highlight current player. I like to check all of those options. I prefer actually having red and black suits rather than green and orange minor suits. Um, you can change the suit order. You can change a lot of interesting things about this. You may find that um, you want the cards to be large scale cards. And let me show you what that looks like. I selected large scale here and I'm closing the window and see how that is. That might be um, that might be easier for you to read. It's probably definitely easier if you're using an iPhone or any small screen device. And that's going to be it for now. So what I'm going to do is log out of my bridge table and I'm going to um, log out of the Zoom session and leave the meeting. And that's all for this, for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful.